we're having a short geography class today. And apparently, I'm in the very center of exactly Moscow. And it feels a bit strange because, yes, there is not one such a word in Russian as Moscow. Well, I'm a native speaker of Russian. And what we have is uh, Moskva. But you know what? Back then, in the 12th century, the original name was Moskva. It used to be Moscow. Looks like the English language has preserved the actual name way better than Russian. And the same is for Munich, which is currently, yeah, Munchen. <laughs> Nonetheless, way back in old high German version, it used to be Munichen, literally the city of monks. And that Munichen thing has about survived in English at a form of Munich. By the way, that monk theme is also well reflected in some other languages, and those folks just massacred it. Poles tend to call it Menachem, and Czechs named it Mnichev. The Mnichev, which is clear to me, by the way, as a speaker of a Slavic language, that's still all but monks. And Italians, what a minute further, calling it Monaco. Yeah, it turns out there are two goddamn Monacos. One of them, you know, Blackjack and Sluts. And the other one is this. The English language seems to have also retained the historical names of Cologne, which used to be a Roman colony and now is Cologne in German. Brunswick, which is now Braunschweig, and supposedly Nuremberg. Way closer to their historical names. This language hasn't been managed to keep the different article in The Hague when borrowing the Dutch name Denach. And for the city, which is now called Pskov, the English didn't go up until well into the 16th century, keeping calling it Pliskov. And the medieval English didn't pay that much respect to their closest neighbors. A nice town of two ancient, let's call it Edinburgh. Elba, good. From now on, it has to be Scotland. Cardiff sounds fun, but this shithole's got to be called Cardiff. And frankly, I have lots of time before the next flood, so I can keep talking all sorts of linguistic words crap. Let's carry on. Time may have no mercy at all for citizen toponyms, and a fine example of this is Legis, otherwise Byzantium, or if you want, Constantinople, nowadays commonly known as Istanbul, or just Istanbul. Some Slavic nations still refer to it as Tsarigrad, just like they did in Middle Ages, which is supposed to mean King City. And the same as about the city of Talon, which used to be Revel or Caliban throughout its history. Now, if you ask anyone from Germany or Austria, what's that beautiful old city in the west of Ukraine? They'll answer Lamberg. But us, Eastern Europeans, tend to call it the Wolf or the Biff. Now, Mother Russia which has plenty of other names as well. Latvians consider us to be Crimea, and Finns, plus Estonians, call us Venaya, or Venima. Them Finns do have such word as Ruotsi, but they use it for Sweden. Still, thank you Finns. At least you tried better than the Vietnamese did. Cause Russian Vietnamese is Nga. Yeah, turns out it's mother Nga. That's pretty much all. If I failed to mention anything worth noting, and for sure I did, don't hesitate, write in the comments below.